Now, there's two ways to ask questions. The first way to ask questions is you're asking because you're trying to learn the knowledge so you can apply it to future understandings. And the second way to ask questions is you're questioning because you want to question the reasoning for what's going on. And the second way of questioning can be disobedience. So we always have to go with the first way of how we ask questions, not why is this happening, not why is this happening to me? No, we have to ask God, what is the purpose? What is the lesson? How do I apply this to my future understanding? Because this the end. He's at peace. One day we too shall do this. He's still leading. He said, I got to go to see what's going on. Everybody go read the book of Job. Just read the book of Job. He took everything from Job. He kept snatching everything from Job. And Job, like every Christian that, you know, everybody like, you know, I put so much good into the world. Why? so much bad coming to me. He's like, you know what? I ain't really been bad to nobody. I just want to talk to him. I want to ask him why. Why he doing this to me? God looked at him and said, who are you talking to? Why not you? Mm. This is the time for you to praise my name. This is the time for you to tell the other people through the Mr. Payne. I'm the one that's giving you the strength, fool. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't care what y'all think. I think I love uh, DC on Fly's heart, man. I, yeah. He he yeah. he seems to me to really be pursuing God. Yeah. Um, yeah. And no matter where he is in his walk, and you want to pick apart things about him, I wish everybody had the heart he has, man. He he seems to really take seriously. I need to spread the gospel to the people I know in my circle, mm, and I yeah. think he's. I think he's taking this seriously. What y'all think about? about uh, what no, I, I heard him um, give a similar um, sermon when his child's mother uh, passed mm. away, and um, it was like, uh, yeah, he, he was. I mean, he he's on the right path. He's mm. on the right path. He's yeah. he's still, you know. I think got some things to work on and, and things to clean up and um, I think it's you know part of part of the uh, limelight that's on him keeps him from being able to like come out of everything that he does I mean his character and, and the roles that he takes and plays um, so I think I think it's just a matter of time I think give it time and I think he's you know preaching to himself because I think he had to you know stop and ask himself that same thing when she passed away was like what's the lesson in this what's yeah. the purpose of that yeah. you know I'm I'm here taking care I think I have four kids Three or four? Okay. Yeah, he's, he's a sole, you know, provider of four kids now. And um, hey, that's a that's yeah. that's a stretch. Right. Yeah, stretch. What I, what I say is this. I say that um, I believe the same thing you're saying. Yeah. Right? And he's not too far. Off. And I feel like that with a lot of artists. Right. Yeah. Um, even recently, I saw, you know, Chris Brown. He was he was wearing one of the um, one of these hats, uh, Christ like hats. Oh, great. And it said oh, wow. grace on it. Yeah, it yeah. And it was fire. Like, but years ago, I've been praying for him. Like, I was like, man, God, I know that he's at a spot where he wants you. But he's just you're, you're, you're in a position where you can't really make a lot of moves and stuff. You know, yeah. now, the only thing I'll say about what, what DC Young Fly, they kind of like. Th th throws me off is that I know he's trying to spread the gospel um, in, in this specific case but when he says something about rich homie Quan being yeah. at in, 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 in kind yeah, of yeah, peace yeah, yeah. yeah so you call it peace because let's be honest you know what I'm saying the word of God makes it clear that you can be in the world but you should not be of the world yeah, right yeah, yeah. and we can Absolutely. tell by the fruits that rich homie you know what was bearing that he was kind of still in the world mm -hmm. and I think that's kind of what happens a lot when someone dies Absolutely. they always want to say oh rest in peace or rest in heaven or just mm -hmm. like Pac said he said I wonder if, if heaven got a ghetto they'd be like rest in paradise gangster I don't agree with that you know what I'm saying because yeah. what somebody they got people out here catching bodies and stuff and you say mm -hmm. man I, and they end up dying or something but oh man man free him or, or or uh, rest in peace or some that man ain't gonna be resting in peace. <laughs> yeah. You gonna be doing anything but resting in peace, you know? Yeah. yeah. And I think that's just because, you know, uh people are are people wanna give comfort at this time. Yeah. yeah. He's staring and, at his mama. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. You standing <laughs> at his mama, right? right there. That's who, that's um who. You know, it was cra it's crazy. It reminds me of that Tyler Perry movie that just came yeah. out. Uh, <laughs> and when they were just yeah, standing we, we in the just pulpit. Had this talk yeah, yeah, yeah. Standing in the pulpit, it was like, you know, that's that. you can imagine how that would go if you said that to, you know, his family. Like, yeah, that's true. You know. yeah. Hell, hell is a real place, right? Yeah. It's yeah. just a real place. And I think the, the understanding of that 
is really tough because, mm. you know, people don't want to talk about it. But there are people who are just going to go. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying anything specific about him, right? Mm-hmm. We know yeah. that there are people who are going to be in hell. And we don't ever really think about it and say, this person was designated to go there. God That's didn't crazy. save him. We're all saved by grace, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And so you, grace be on this brother, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I've always been like kind of acquainted. You know, I haven't had the pleasure of like meeting him. We have mutual stuff and I've been on projects that he's been on. I'm um, trying to help, you know, with stuff. But mm. at the same time, I think it's really, I remember we talked about Kanye, mm-hmm. right? And my, <laughs> when I see situations like this, my request is for people to always pray for these people. Mm-hmm. Like seriously pray for these people because we can all talk, but our actions also have to line up, yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? And so when you get to this place, you have to choose, mm-hmm. right? Is it my career or is it him? Is mm-hmm. it my fame or is it him? Mm-hmm. Is it what people That's want good. or is it him? Mm-hmm. And it always has to come down to him. And yeah. there's no excuse for not going to him. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. And so just as an example, we could have DC ascend and be this great leader, or we could have DMX. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A person who's has a knowledge of the truth never come into this power right yeah. it's these we we get we get enamored by somebody you, you know speaking about things or mm-hmm. you know whether they dropped a, a, a verse <laughs> on a christian yeah. song mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or even you know not yeah. in no offense but even wearing certain clothing mm-hmm. but our the heart is your heart darkened yeah mm-hmm. because how yeah. you live your heart mm-hmm. right and we all know what sin does to us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even little stuff, right? It's yeah. thank God, it's the conviction of yeah. it. But that's where you go in, you're saying, okay, I see this. You know, I'm, look, look, we lifting up DC Young Fly in the name of Jesus Amen. right here. Yeah, Come absolutely. Him, order his steps. Give him the truth so that he'll come to you fully mm-hmm. and surrender himself. Amen. Right? So that prayer goes out here. I just say, everybody, when you see people like this, lift them up. You're praying for Chris Brown. Yeah. You're seeing fruit from that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Praise God for that, right? I remember I wore a Pusha T-shirt. It was a Pusher T-shirt. Yeah. And I put a, a, a hello name badge and put pray, right? So people mm-hmm. walk around and like, oh, you got that Pusha T-shirt on. And I'd be like, <laughs> mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And so... So I pray for you. Let me ask you this. I know you said, and I see you kind of talking towards like you talking like about clothes and, and and stuff like that. And so, so how do you like? How do you feel about like certain clothes that you see like believers wear and stuff like that? I, you know, I just had that conversation. I really? was saying that I don't think we can. I mean, it was somebody telling me like I can't remember what company it was, but they were like, you know, they're, they're Satanists, yeah. right? And I think recently somebody said that Oreos have like satanic symbols, different yeah, things, yeah, right? Yeah. And but the point is, I you know, it's not to me. This is why we pray over our food. <laughs> this is why we For pray sure. over. I don't That's think true. your clothes are gonna make the man. The man makes the clothes right yeah, in yeah. terms, right? I know there's certain things I just shouldn't wear, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, when yeah. it's like you know the f bomb is coming across my shirt or yeah. something, pentagram, correct, right? So yeah, yeah I'm not doing the goat. You yeah, know? you feel me? Yeah. yeah. So you know that kind of thing. That's right. <sighs> I kind of feel like we be giving the devil too much power, man. Like, I done ate Oreos all my life, and I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Me them too. all taste good. You dip them in some milk, some you know milk. what I'm saying? I ain't never been possessed or nothing from an Oreo cookie. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to go back to the... Um, the possessed is crazy. Yeah, the DC Young Fly thing with the Rich Homie Kwan. That was the um, of the day Oreos. Yeah. <laughs> I, I say this all the time. I have a certain level of grace for those people because when I look at those situations, like I say all the time, I see myself in that. Even with Rich Homie, like, his first album was called Rich As In Spirit, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So there was a semblance of God there. And I think I think a lot of times in the Christian community, man, we've been blessed to be around people who can give us discipleship and accountability and things. Yeah, yeah. But like when you in the streets for real, you really from the hood for real, like it ain't too many people really just coming out there really just trying to give you sound biblical doctrine in the middle of the trap, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So it's like to, to even have a glimpse of God in the midst of the environments that these folks were in, I kind of show a little grace to that. I'm not saying they're in heaven mm-hmm. or they're in hell because that ain't my job. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> when I see 
when I see a rich homie Quan do some songs dedicated to the Lord, even though he might have died with drugs and things of that nature, we don't know yeah. what was going on in his life that had him on a level of stress to where he didn't understand fully how to depend on God. That didn't mean he didn't believe. He just had yeah. a moment of weakness that ultimately took his life. Mm -hmm. Whereas us as a believer, we can be believers and have moments of weakness and then cause us to fall into a sin that can cause us to have consequences that we didn't anticipate. Mm -hmm. um, I look at DC Young Fly, somebody with a platform, he could have got up and said, man, DC, that my partner, man, did this and that. But he chose to try to take an opportunity in the least to try to give some kind of reference to God or the Bible and even give a biblical reference. Mm -hmm. So I think it's easy to criticize these people. Yeah. And I think when they see stuff like that, they're looking like, dang, that's why I don't fool with church right there. Not why I don't fool with Christian. It's like, I think it's a way that we can correct and encourage, but in love and not come mm -hmm. across like we just have all the answers. Because the news flash is going to be when we get to heaven, we all going to be wrong about something. Because mm -hmm. the Bible said we all know in part. Yeah. So some yeah. of the parts you think you know real well, you really don't. And you're going to find that out when yeah. you get to heaven. So I yeah. think, I just hope all things, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's evident. If somebody's not bearing fruit that lines up with Scripture, we know that and we see that. But those who are spiritual, you see somebody in error, you come in the spirit of love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't come like fire and brimstone like we don't like with the guys with the bullhorn. Now, some folks that may work for it, like we said, but you know, typically yeah. when you're dealing with these kind of individuals, when they feel the judgment, they feel the hate, and they feel the criticism, even when they're trying to do right by God, yeah. that's what kind of pushes them further yeah, away. Frustrated. It's mm -hmm. better to be like, you know what, bro, I see where you were going, man. I appreciate that. Let me show you this right here. Let me show you the scripture in Job, and let me show you what God was doing right here with this right here. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, bro was struggling with this, this, and that, and I know you was encouraging the family because the Bible do say mourn with those who mourn. They don't say criticize mm -hmm. those who mourn. They say mourn with those who mourn. Mm -hmm. But let me also show you next time how you can look at this because we all going through a journey. I've lost people. You've lost people. Let's see how this is supposed to look. Mm -hmm. If you're in a position where you even had that kind of relationship with them. Mm -hmm. But we're not really going to be able to talk to them like that. So I think it's important with these kind of platforms to show them, like, look, like I understand where you at I get it And we got love for you We we thankful that you even Tried to do anything That was God forward mm -hmm. um, We just praying for you That you get more understanding mm -hmm. And revelation on these situations Because What happened to Rich Homie Is a real thing That's happening to a lot of people That don't have a platform mm -hmm. So the more we're educated In these environments We can help more people You know what I'm saying That's yeah, all yeah. I'm saying That's good luck